हम चिंता करते हैं चिंतन नहीं करते थिंकिंग इज अ वेरी डीप एक्टिविटी there is a saying a good mentor will tell you what to think but a great mentor will teach you how to think in today's podcast we will be discussing and gaining insights on art of strategic thinking with india's number one business writer dr radha krishna pillai so welcome to this podcast thank you so much bansi and thank you all the viewers for once again having me on this particular show so today we are going to discuss about anvikshiki and uh, the viewers are very excited to know what is anvikshiki it's a beautiful word and i have fallen in love with this word <laughs> an vikshiki i know many of you must have heard about this for the first time yes like me you know when i heard it for the first time i was very surprised i could not even pronounce it properly but as i told you i have fallen in love with it so much that the name of my company is chanakya an vikshiki private limited of course my daughter's name is also an vikshiki wow and yes i do teach that as a subject of strategic thinking yes now coming back to your question what is an vikshiki it comes from uh, artha shastra of kautilya mm-hmm. and chanakya calls it as parama vidya and prathama vidya okay parama vidya means ultimate knowledge required for a leader or a king mm-hmm. and prathama vidya means the first knowledge so the first thing that you learn is an vikshiki and the ultimate thing that you learn is an vikshiki okay so in the university you taught us that you know you have to first understand an vikshiki so for first time leaders how can they learn an vikshiki so it's very simple uh, you should first learn the theory and second the application so lot of uh, literature is available if you go to google and search on an vikshiki mm-hmm. of course i have written a whole book on this mm-hmm. called inside chanakya's mind yes. an vikshiki and the art of thinking yes but i would like to also warn don't get limited only by theory knowledge mm. because a lot of people think strategic thinking is an academic subject it mm. is not mm. strategic thinking starts with academia or research but it is meant for application okay so for new timers i would suggest that please read a lot of course you know you can also uh, attend programs to understand anvikshiki but please apply mm. that is when you will see the benefits of anvikshiki and strategic thinking wow so you are very active on twitter and i remember one of your tweet it says that leaders should be thinkers and thinkers become thought leaders so was it related to anvikshiki of course because anvikshiki is the process of thinking yes in the great work by rp kangle mm-hmm. who translated the artha shastra he said anvikshiki is equal to philosophy okay so i would say that Ch- chanakya was teaching philosophical thinking Mm-hmm. and if you know how to think philosophically practically strategically mm-hmm. you have understood what is anvikshiki mm-hmm. so coming back to the tweet that i quoted yes all great leaders are thinkers and thinkers because they get the habit of analyzing uh, and also thinking about one particular subject a lot of time mm-hmm. they actually become thought leaders wow so yes leaders have to be thinkers and thinkers become thought leaders so even in the workshop in the university you teach us that thinking is a skill and we should practice thinking time before we come to any decision making so why is this see if you look at everybody's daily schedule mm. we have allocated time for mm. various things mm. for example we have allocated time for sleeping mm. of course you know we have allocated time for going to school or college or office yeah we have allocated time for even exercises but not many people actually allocate time for thinking mm. thinking is a very important activity but nobody takes it very seriously Correct. like when you get up in the morning mm. you go to your washroom get ready first and then of course have your breakfast and if you are a gymmer you go to the gym mm. whatever sports you play so everything is in boxes mm. but everybody thinks that you know thinking is something that happens naturally it mm. doesn't it's a process like you have to be with yourself sit down allocate some time in fact when i take my workshops mm-hmm. i always say you know in the 24 hours that you have if you want to master the art of thinking mm-hmm. please spare one hour per day mm-hmm. and then one hour what you should do of course you should read a lot think a lot strategize a lot and also meditate so this time of uh, thinking has to be separate it can't be you know, like many people they drive 
mm. or they are walking somewhere and they say I am thinking. No, you cannot take these two activities of walking and thinking together. Mm. Thinking is a very deep activity. Mm. So I would suggest that you know from today onwards, spend one hour at least separately for thinking and not worrying. Mm. A lot of people, if I have to use Hindi, we do not do it, we do not do it. So it is very important that we do So thinking is a deep work mm. and worrying is not the right thing to do. So like you correctly said, people worry a lot. And a lot of people say that you should work on your mindset. So does Anvikshiki help in you know impacting your belief system or conditioning your belief systems? It is conditioning and also deconditioning. Oh, okay. So like think, learn and learn. Learn and learn. So what is conditioning? So let us put it this way. Like you know, you got into negative thinking a lot. Mm. So over a period of a time, it becomes a condition that whenever you look at it, you have fear, mm. you have hatred towards some particular people. You become very negative. Mm. So that's conditioning. But with Anvikshiki, you can actually decondition mm. and get into a positive state of mind. Mm. Now this is also unconditioning. So let me give you an example. Let us say I uh, had a student who actually was very upset mm. with his boss. Mm. And he came to me and I said, you know, I don't want to work in this particular company. So I asked him, what is the problem? Mm. Then you know, this boss is not good. He's always, you know, not supporting me, this, that and all those things. Mm. Then I said, you know, okay, can you actually look at it practically? Mm. Do you have another job in hand? He said, no. Mm. Is money important for you? He said, I'm married. I have a whole family and money is very important for me. Mm. Then he said, please don't take the decision very impulsively. Mm. So I will help you how to take a decision. In fact, Amrikshik is a process of right thinking and also decision making. Mm. So we sat down together and I told him, you know, please write down 10 negative points about your particular boss. And within 5 minutes he had 20 points. <laughs> so it's because there is there's one thing, okay, he's conditioned to look at his boss so negatively. Mm. When I told him just to write the negative points, suddenly everything came out. And I said, okay, good. Now everything is out. Now can you tell me at least 10 good points about your boss? Mm. Believe me, for the next 15 minutes, he could not even think about one quality. Not even one. Not even one. So that is where it happened that it became conditioning. Mm. Then to push him and said, wait, 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 wait. Now let's decondition. There could be at least one quality. One quality. Don't forget about 10 qualities. Mm. Yeah, let me think. Oh, okay. Very simple one. At least he gives salary on time. <laughs> okay, chala, one point. Yeah. He may be a bad boss and whatever, at least. Can you look at another point? Is it okay? You know, at least one thing is this communication, his language is very good. Mm. Because certain bosses, you know, they are very good in the email drafting. On the, okay. Mm. Third point is that okay, he's good looking. <laughs> maybe he's good looking. Maybe internally he may not be a great person. Mm. But yes, he's good looking. His presentation skills, mm. the way he wears, dresses up is very good. Mm. So suddenly he started realizing he had another 15 points which were good. So, so from 1 to, uh, from 0 to 15. Yeah, so we had to push. Then later on, I told, remember, it is not that the boss is completely bad. Mm. I'm not saying that the boss is completely good also. Mm. But your mind has got conditioned to only look at the negative side. Mm. So my dear friends, remember, there is nothing called as perfect white or perfect black. Mm. Always there is a gray area. Mm. And Anvik Shiki helps you to look at both the sides. In fact, we always say this is two-side thinking. The negative and the positive and everything in between. So yes, I would like to tell over here that yes, it's a mindset mm. and it is a mindset that makes a person or breaks a person. Wow. So make sure that you have the right mindset and also very important, you should have an open mindset while dealing with people. Correct. So I read a quote on critical thinking. It says that critical thinking plus curiosity leads to creativity. So how can you relate this with Anvik Shiki? Critical thinking plus curiosity is equal to creativity. Yeah. Three C's. Yes. <laughs> So let's understand each of these words. Yes. So what is critical thinking? Hmm. Remember, critical thinking does not mean cynical thinking. Hmm. What is cynical thinking? People are always used to only looking at the negative, negative, negative. Hmm. So like I'll tell you, there is a white board hmm. and you have a black dot. And if you ask one person, say, well, what do you see? Hmm. So one person may tell you, you know, the black dot. Hmm. And the other person may say, there is a black do dot in a white board. So the first person is only looking at that black dot which is negative. That becomes you know cynical in nature. Mm -hmm. The other person is looking at both of them and saying, yes, mm -hmm. whiteboard is also there and dark spot is also there. Mm -hmm. So now coming away, what is critical? 
if you have uh, used this word called critic hmm. in movie reviews and film reviews and book reviews, who is a critic? Hmm. Critic is not a cynical thinker. Hmm. He or she is the one who looks at both sides. Hmm. So you have to understand, you should develop critical thinking. Otherwise, what will happen is you will get carried away hmm. by either good or bad of a person. Hmm. So the balanced approach is called critical thinking. Okay. So there are many movies which get you know critics award. Hmm. They may not be very popular. Hmm. They may not have made money, hmm. but they get critics award because the subject matter, hmm. the presentation is very good. Hmm. So critical thinking is important, but curiosity. Hmm. So you know, what is new? What is different? So the good people, especially the critics, actually need curiosity. So if you look at the OTT platform today, hmm. lot of new movies coming in. and not necessarily all of them are making money mm-hmm. but at least it is giving the chance to lot of you know new creators to experiment mm-hmm. so you should be always curious to know what is the subject what is the area mm-hmm. like today if you look at it, ott platforms are full of new type of you know versions of movies and storytelling yes yes in fact that's what the equation that you said you know will finally lead to the third seed which is creativity mm-hmm. So develop critical thinking, develop curiosity, and that should be creative in nature. So the way you present is your creativity. And my suggestion to every one of you is all the three, hmm. all the three C's is included in our mixing. Wow! So you read lot of books. You have met lot of people, lot of stalwarts. So can you tell me what are the traits of critical thinkers? See, number one, the critical thinkers are practical. Hmm. Number two, critical think are result oriented. Hmm. So, if you are a critical thinker, then you look at okay, let's say something goes wrong. Hmm. So, these leaders or successful people always have a backup plan. Wow. So, critical thinking, as I told you, is not negative thinking. Hmm. For example, we are sitting in this particular room. Hmm. So, what if the electricity goes away? Hmm. So, the successful person thinks yes, electricity can go away. So, can I have a backup plan? Hmm. Can I have a battery option hmm. or a generator? Hmm. So these particular leaders have a backup plan. They are very practical. Mm. Second, they are very result oriented and focused. Yes. So they are not the people who waste the time just for the sake of it. Mm. And therefore, one of my favorite authors, as you mentioned about books, is Stephen Covey. Mm. He has written a very famous book called the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Yes. In that particular book, one of the qualities of successful people is called begin with the end in the mind. So you know people keep going, but they don't know where they are going. Mm. People are doing, mm. but they don't know what they want to achieve. Okay. So activity and busyness doesn't result in progress. Mm. Activity or busyness doesn't guarantee progress. Activity is that which actually brings you results. Wow. So the second quality of great leaders is actually getting result oriented and focused mm. and working towards it. Wow. So how do you apply ambition in business? In fact, business is all about ambition. Wow! <laughs> and if you don't understand ambition, you will never understand business. Why is it that? So I'll tell you what. So if I were to ask you a question, what do you think mm. is the ultimate objective of a business? So to serve the customers or to add value. That that is all right. Yeah. And that is important, no doubt about it. But that's a part of the process. Okay. But the reality is that the objective of every business is wealth creation. You look at it, you know, customer may be happy, but mm. if he doesn't pay you money, hmm, yeah. So there are a lot of people who have good customers, happy customers, but the customer may be bad also. So I'm not telling that you know we should not make the customers happy, mm. but remember one thing that customers are the ones who also pay you. Yes. Otherwise, I've seen a lot of businesses which actually uh, you know increase the credit cycle towards the customers, mm. and finally the business closes down. Mm. What we call typically is outstanding mm. or money which is not yet received. Yeah. So, for example, you have produced something, mm. a service or a product you have made, mm. and you have given it, but that customer doesn't pay you. Mm. Okay, then you give him some credit for maybe a week or a month or two months. But if he doesn't pay after two years, it's a loss. You have to shut down. So the then, business. now you have to understand one thing: yes, customer service and customer satisfaction is one part of business. Mm. But if you look at Amit Shiki, same as yes, after that what? Mm. Ultimately, a businessman has to create wealth for himself, for his company, even for the government. Mm. So now you see the whole debate is because I used Amit Shiki. Yes. And if I were to ask you in Hindi, mm. this is one method you should always think. Saw baat ki ek baat. What is the ultimate aim? So if you are a student, what is the ultimate aim of being a student? 
to learn something exactly now you got it yes, so uh, it is not about which subject mm. it's not about which college or university mm. it's ultimately what so learn. if you know how to do that mm. so in business coming by anrichi helps you in every situation okay so i'll give you two instances yes sir while let's say holding a meeting mm. maybe with a customer or your own employees mm. or even with shareholders mm. So you know, whenever I get into meetings, I am in so many companies. I go there. I am on the board of so many companies. So the first question I ask is myself: hmm. Why am I here? Hmm. So that thinking that my what is my role over here and why am I here? What is my role over here and why am I here? Believe me, I apply ambition on myself, and I get an answer. I am here to mentor and guide the company. Yes. Then I can be focused. The second thing is I ask the others: Why are you here? just because your boss has called you doesn't mean you have to go for a meeting correct so if you are not clear if i am not clear that meeting is a waste mm. so in business you can use anvikshi in, in number one holding meetings mm. second application as i told you that business is about creating wealth mm. there will be ups and downs in business no doubt about yes. it but you have to be very very clear that finally everything that you do mm. has to result in wealth creation yes profits will come no mm. doubt about mm. it So my advice is that if you are an entrepreneur or a businessman or a businesswoman, mm. you have to understand one thing: you can always think from the Anvishi method. Ask me, finally, am I making money? Mm. See, many people don't understand. Monetization takes time. Yes. But without monetization, the business will close down. Mm. So you think so many ways of going back and thinking: what is the objective? I have close to it. I have reached it. If not, what is to be done? All these process helps you in business. So Anvik Shikhi basically opens up dimensions of thinking and gives you perspectives. Absolutely. So can we apply Anvik Shikhi in our personal lives? Oh, why not? In every situation, in your relationships, in your family life, with your friends also. Wow. And definitely, even managing your personal finances. Okay. I have applied Anvik Shikhi even in managing, or I would say throwing up a birthday party. What? Absolutely. So let me give a simple example. Yes. Let us uh, look at an example. Let's say you have a grandfather who is mm. 80 years old. Mm. A simple example. Yeah. Now let's say you are a grandson or a granddaughter, mm. and you came to know that you have to organize yeah. a birthday party. But don't just jump into it. Mm. Think about it. When is the birthday? And let's say the birthday is two months away. Mm. Then what do you do next? Mm. Think that okay, there is a birthday. Birthday will come and birthday will go. Yes. So it's not that the grandfather. is going to be celebrating the birthday for the first time mm-hmm. but then you think how can i apply anvikshi can make it better mm-hmm. something more memorable mm-hmm. and in our indian culture the 80th birthday is very symbolic yes and therefore what you do is that since you have two months in hand you have to think mm-hmm. therefore they say plan on paper mm-hmm. don't plan in your mind mm-hmm. you have a lot of ideas mm-hmm. so take down a piece of paper write down and say okay today is so and so date Now, after two months is our grandfather's birthday. Mm. List of invitees. Mm. Who will be organizing it? Where is the venue? What is going to be the food given? What about the cake? Mm. Let's say who will be the invitees? Mm. What about the finances? Mm. Now you look at you plan everything. Then you say, okay, this is my list of twenty things. I can involve my cousins. I can involve my parents mm. and ask them. You know what you want to do. Mm. So Anvikshi is not only your thinking but also everybody. Wow. Then you plan. You call everyone. Book a hall. Mm. Or if it's in the house, you start planning accordingly. Mm. So you look at even for a birthday party, you have to think. Now let us look at relationships. Mm. Now this is a common problem that we have. Relationships can be between anybody. It can be between friends, between your colleagues. It can be at your family also. Mm. Now if you look at it, the key problem in every relationship is lot of miscommunication, misunderstanding. Mm. Yes. And so what you do is that. Think in detail. Where did the communication problem start? Mm. So let me give you a simple example. And what is the expectation of yours from the relationship? Mm. And we should have a lot of patience to understand. For example, let's go back to history. Yeah. There are two cousins, the Kauravas and the Pandavas. Mm. Now, if you had applied Anvikshiki, you will understand that they were fighting a big war just for the sake of a kingdom. Mm. But Krishna actually tried to stop it by asking. Uh, the Kaurava said, "You don't give the whole kingdom. Give five villages. Mm. Even that was not given. That's why the war had to happen." Yes. So if you think down mm. and think deep, you will come to know where is the problem. I'll give you another example. You know, there was a particular uh, couple. I mean, two girls, I would say. Mm. 
their best friends when they started fighting so then i saw looking at you why are they fighting mm-hmm. then there is one thing there was an expectation problem mm-hmm. so this uh, one girl was going through a, a deep problem and the other girl expected that this one will help me in that problem but when she called up message the other person was not responding okay. suddenly the other girl re- realized <laughs> that it was not because of me but it is because i was not available when she required me so remember my dear friends that it's very important that you think what is the other person come down to that one point okay. and in relationship i have a simple formula you cannot uh, build any relationship without dedicating time mm. time is a minimum investment that you do in every relationship it's between your family members between your friends your colleagues and therefore i always say it's like bank account mm. you want to uh, actually build your bank account you to invest mm. so invest time in your friends and the friends will come back with lot of interest on you <laughs> so you spoke about you know involving people and i remember reading in your book i think in page number 188 you've mentioned a sutra which says all undertakings should be preceded by consultation how do you connect anvikshiki with this oh beautiful it's a very interesting thing yeah. never think alone mm. think with others wow never think alone think with others So I'll give you a simple example. When you go for shopping, mm. do you go and enjoy shopping alone? No. <laughs> so you want your friends to be alone. Why? Because you can discuss. Yes. You can look at the colors. You can look at the patterns. I, in fact, know a girl who actually started an online shopping store. And when she went to the investors, you know what was her pitch? She said, "You know, my online shopping is different." The other said, you know, everybody is the same dress. She had tie-ups with some big brand, mm-hmm. some shops, mm-hmm. some boutique. Or is me? What is so special? What is so special? And she actually said, you, know, this is for working women. Oh. So what? So, so everybody is busy. Huh. So the what is the because if a girl is going to go to shop, she wants to call a friend, <laughs> and the friend says, I'm not available. Let's say because I'm working on that particular day. Yes. So this girl may or may not be working. The other person is busy. You know what? They developed an app in that business. Let me go to a shop. You just call up your friend and say, you know, I require five minutes of yours, uh. and she will show all the good, and she will contribute. Wow! Sitting in the office at home. So no and need to travel. No need to travel, but she wanted an input from her friends, and at one time you can have seven friends in that app. Oh! Like our WhatsApp video call. <laughs> so everybody can discuss, and she will take a decision. Now look at it. it's a very simple example that mm. you feel nice mm. when somebody is talking to you while taking a decision. Correct. Now think about bigger events in life, mm. like going for studies, mm. maybe marriage. Mm. It could be about finance. Mm. It could be change of career. It could be going abroad and settling. Mm. Now these are bigger decisions in life, and they can have long term impacts. Mm. Now think about you decide to shift from one country to another. It's not going to be easy. Mm. That is why Chanakya says. All undertaking, be it small, like mm-hmm. buying a piece of dress, mm-hmm. or be it a big decision like traveling out of a country or migrating out of one country, always consult the right people, talk to them. Like for example, when you talk to a visa agent mm-hmm. or or a travel agent, they will tell you this is the right country, mm-hmm. or if you want to go for education, this is the right place to go, this is the right fees, this is the right college, they give you a job or whatever. Mm-hmm. So it's very important that small or big decision always discuss. Consult the experts and then only take a decision. You will never go wrong. Wow! So basically, it, uh, you know, creates awareness. Awareness and Charakla also tells us never take a decision alone. Hmm. Discuss with others and arrive at a decision. Wow. Okay. So, how have you applied Anvikshiki in your life? Any special incident? My daughter's name. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, my company's name. Yes. So of course these are only names, but yes. let me tell you, my work is only applying our Vikshi. Mm-hmm. So whenever, so I always say, you know, I'm like a doctor. Yes. So even though I'm doctor or a doctor, I'm still I'm not a medical doctor. But I can tell you exactly what a medical doctor does. I do with my students and clients. Mm-hmm. So when they come, I'm actually guiding them. Mm-hmm. I don't give them prescriptions like you know, you go and take this medicine three times a day. I may suggest them to watch videos or read books. Yeah. But my diagnosis process mm. is exactly like what a medical doctor does. Wow. So if you go to a doctor, what does he or she do? Mm. They'll ask you symptoms first. Mm. Okay, for example, you have been having chronic coughing. Mm. You go to a doctor, and the first thing he or she will ask you is how long you have been coughing. Mm. They say one week. And then you know any time of the day, any particular pattern. Did you try any medicine before this? Mm. 
मे बी समथिंग फ्रॉम होम घर का नोट्स का इंस्टेंट इज नॉट गोइंग द डॉक्टर हैज एन अंडरस्टैंडिंग ओके लेट मी आस्क डीपर क्वेश्चंस सिंग द सेवन डेज ओके व्हाट एल्स यू नो डिड यू ईट समथिंग फ्रॉम आउटसाइड एंड शी विल आल्सो टेस्ट यू मे बी यू नो यूज अ स्टेटोस्कोप और मे बी टेल यू टू गो एंड टेस्ट विद योर थ्रोट और लंग्स और व्हाट एवर व्हाट डू आई डू I do the same process. When somebody comes to me, I first put them into a box. Saying, "What's your problem?" Mm. And you know, Chanakya teaches you a lot of methods of actual diagnosing. Yes. Okay, is it a relation problem? Then put it in a relationship box. Mental. Okay, it's a finance problem. Put it there. It's a business problem. It's a family problem. So there are five six boxes. Then I start asking questions. Okay, so five. Your is a problem of deciding a career. Mm. Okay, that's a career problem. Then I would typically ask them, "Whom have you discussed this with?" Mm-hmm. I have never discussed, but yes, I did discuss with my friend. So they stop there. Don't mm-hmm. discuss with your friend because it's like blind leading the blind. Mm-hmm. But have you considered somebody senior who is successful in that field? Mm-hmm. If not, read these books, talk mm-hmm. to this particular person, mm-hmm. and come back after one week. And believe me, after that one week, the person comes back like a patient going to the doctor after trying the medicine. <laughs> So my suggestion is that you know I have been applying anvikshiki and you also should apply anvikshiki. So in the initial stages you will require an outsider mm. to help you, but the second stages you can help others also. Wow. So one last question. You always tell us that you know when you have to learn leadership, you have to first read Ramayan and then Kautilya Arthashastra. So then who apply anvikshiki in Ramayan? In fact, there are many people. The foremost, of course, is Hanuman ji himself. Okay. And the second one I know is Jambavan. Okay. So Hanuman ji, as you know, was a pundit. Mm. Many people only look at the aspects of Hanuman, like flying to Lanka. Mm. He could become big, small. All this is fine, but not many people know that he was a scholar of the Vedas. Mm. And the word Anvikshi comes in the Vedas. Okay. And Hanuman had a very interesting diagnosis process. Mm. So he is definitely, you know, very important character of Ramayan. Yes. And interestingly, he comes in Mahabharata also. Okay. Yeah. In fact, if you study, he is a common character in Rama and and Mahabharata. Oh. Okay. So if you look at uh, Mahabharata, if you look at the Bhagavad Gita, mm. and especially the scenario where Krishna is guiding Arjuna mm. on Ratha, the chariot, there is a flag, mm. and on that flag there is Hanuman also. Okay. And in fact, Hanuman teaches Bhima, Bhima, not Bhishma, one of the Pandavas, how to think correctly. The oh. chapter of right thinking of Hanuman in Mahabharata also, okay. and of course when Ma- in the Ramayana when Hanuman ji goes to Lanka, mm-hmm. he knows diagnosis. Where is Sita? Sita is not here. Sita is not here. So Sita is here, and then he wants to fire up the whole Lanka, but he doesn't have anything. He is new to that particular place. Yes. So what does he do? He thinks, okay, can I get oil from everywhere? I can't. So he just keeps extending his tail. So strategy is equal to Amikshiki, and of course Hanuman is the Jamba one, mm. and that's another example. He was a wise man in the uh, in the army of all the monkeys, mm-hmm. as they say. So he tells them how to make war strategies, and of course my favorite character in Ramayana, along with Ram, Lakshman, Sita, is Bharat. Okay. Bharat also applied Amikshiki. Oh. That's why when Ram came back to Lanka after 14 years, he found Rama in the Ramayana and said. That Ayodhya was more prosperous than when it was 14 years ago. Yes. So every character had studied Anvikshiki in their Gurukul days. Wow, very insightful, and I'm sure the viewers have gained lot of knowledge today. Please tell us in the comment section what all insights of Anvikshiki you've learned today. We have an upcoming workshop from 23rd of November to 25th of November on Anvikshiki art of strategic thinking, where Radha sir will be taking the entire workshop and teaching you actually how do you apply Anvikshiki in your real life. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much.